I would say inference questions are the closest to where you're going to have to read between the lines a little bit. Now, reading between the lines obviously becomes tricky because how much can you assume? And the answer is, as with so many questions on the LSAT, it's simply what is most supported, what is most likely to be the case. And there will always be some specific line reference you can point to that does support the given answer choice. But if they're asking a question as broad as which one of the following is the author most likely to agree with, there are many things the author is likely to agree with, just like any individual has plenty of things they would likely agree with on all sorts of different matters. And so obviously it's narrowed to the 500 words or so that you'll see in the passage, but you've got to hunt in and look for those things. If you can't prephrase because the questions as, as generals, what I just laid out, then your alternative is process of elimination. So find the four things that are not supported at all. And then the one remaining choice, there will likely be some support somewhere in the passage. And this is where maybe control F, command F could come into play. For those who haven't heard, I've covered this a little bit, but LSAT flex allows control F or command F, meaning as a keyboard commander function, you can search for specific keywords. I think the usefulness of this strategy is overplayed a little bit. I'm not sure how helpful that always will be in practice, but that is one of the, those other things you might experiment with that could save you a little bit of time when you're simply hunting for one out of five choices to find that key support there. But for most things, it will be looking for the details that support a given choice with key line references. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.